guys and welcome back to my channel. This look was inspired by one of the promo images for American Horror Story Cult. And I'd just like to say I've seen a lot of sponsored posts promoting it, but I simply did this because I liked the look. As always, the products, music, and my social media will be listed in the description. And with all of that said, let's get into the tutorial. It's been a while since I engaged full potato mode, so I'll link that tutorial in a card. And as always, I'm rocking a tube top. I made this little hive mind cap out of latex and I actually showed some of that process during an Instagram live stream, which I might start doing more frequently, so look out for those. I put on my little hat, then applied strips of scar wax along the edge with spirit gum. And remember, you have to tap spirit gum to activate it. I smoothed down the edges of the wax with a sculpting tool and petroleum jelly. You don't want to use your fingers because the heat will make the wax very soft and goopy and it won't hold its shape as well. Once the wax was mostly smooth, I sealed it with latex, then powdered it. I filled in my face, neck, and chest with a light coat of white body paint. I used a kabuki brush for this because it gives you a nice smooth application. The promo image really doesn't have much contouring going on, but the model has way stronger bone structure than my potato -y self, so I decided to contour a bit. I used a light gray eyeshadow to carve out some cheekbones and to contour my collarbones a bit. It's a bit hard to tell what exactly the eye makeup is since the model is looking down slightly in the image, so this was a bit of guesswork. I defined my crease and lower lash line with red eyeshadow. Then I darkened the crease and lower lash line with a burgundy-ish eyeshadow, blending it into the previous color. I packed a rose gold shadow onto my lids with my finger. Then I lightened the center of my lids with a pinky, pearly eyeshadow. I used the burgundy shadow to add in the little clown-esque lines above and beneath the eyes. I painted the lip of the scar wax with pink body paint. And I added a little dimension to that with some red eyeshadow. I did pre-paint my hive brain, but I wasn't very happy with how it was reading on camera, so I completely went over it. I used a mix of yellow, red, and brown body paint to get the rich color that I wanted, and I switched up the color in areas to make it look more natural. While that dried, I went on to the lips. I used a metallic red lipstick to mimic the exaggerated lip shape from the promo image. I used a brighter metallic lip liner to lighten the center of my bottom lip. Then I applied clear gloss over top. Then I went back to the brain since my base had dried. To emphasize the holes, I lightly pat yellow cream makeup over top so the holes remained my darker base color. Then I heated up some gelatin, but I let it cool until it was a safe temperature to use directly on my skin. I used tongue depressors to apply the gelatin and I let it drip down the brain to mimic honey. And this was an untinted batch of the gelatin recipe that I use that's made with honey, so the color worked out nicely. Last, I applied three little bees that I made out of polymer clay. Congratulations, you have made it to my end screen. Click that top link to watch my last video, or click that bottom link to watch a video YouTube's robots think you'll like. Click that square to help me make more videos, and if you wanna make sure you don't miss a single video from me in the future, click that little circle with my face in it to subscribe.